We cordially welcome you to this audio summary. Please remember to demonstrate your support by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, enabling us to provide you with more content. Feel free to leave comments suggesting books for which you'd appreciate hearing summaries. House of Leaves is a captivating and unconventional novel written by Mark Z. Daniluski. Published in 2000, it defies traditional storytelling and pushes the boundaries of narrative structure. This enigmatic book weaves together multiple layers of narratives, footnotes, and paratexts to create a labyrinthine exploration of themes such as perception, reality, and the human psyche. At its core is The Navidson Record, a documentary film that follows the Navidson family's chilling exploration of a mysterious labyrinth within their own home. As readers delve into the intricate layers of the book, they are invited to unravel the mysteries and confront the existential questions that lie within the depths of House of Leaves, incorporates multiple layers in its narrative structure. Here is a summary of the main layers within the book, The Navidson Record. The Navidson Record is the central layer of House of Leaves and forms the core narrative of the book. It revolves around the documentary film of the same name, directed by Will Navidson. The film depicts the Navidson family's exploration of a mysterious labyrinth that appears within their home, located on Ash Tree Lane. Will Navidson, a renowned Pulitzer Prize-winning photojournalist, moves with his partner Karen Green and their two children, Chad and Daisy, to their new home. However, soon after settling in, they discover that the interior of the house is much larger than its exterior suggests. An inexplicable dark hallway, referred to as the hallway, appears, leading to a vast and ever-changing labyrinth. As the Navidson family begins to explore the labyrinth, they encounter terrifying phenomena, including spatial anomalies, claustrophobic passages, and impossible dimensions. The nature of the labyrinth defies rational explanation, as its configuration continuously shifts and changes, leading to a sense of disorientation and fear. The exploration of the labyrinth becomes a metaphor for the human condition, representing the depths of the human psyche and the mysteries of existence. The labyrinth embodies the unknown, challenging the character's perception of reality and pushing them to confront their fears, doubts, and vulnerabilities. As Will documents their experiences using a variety of cameras and recording equipment, the film becomes a reflection of their psychological journey and the tension within their relationships. Karen struggles with her own anxieties, and the children's safety is constantly at stake. The house and its labyrinth become a physical manifestation of their internal struggles, testing the limits of their sanity and resilience. The Navidson record also attracts widespread attention and sparks intense debate and analysis within the fictional world of the book. Scholars, critics, and enthusiasts try to decipher the meaning behind the events and the nature of the labyrinth itself. This layer highlights the impact and influence of the documentary on the characters and the world around them. Throughout the narrative, the exploration of the labyrinth challenges the characters' notions of reality, perception, and the nature of truth. The Navidson record blurs the line between fact and fiction, leaving the characters and readers questioning their own understanding of what is real and what is imagined. The Navidson record serves as the foundation for the other layers in House of Leaves. It sets the stage for the exploration of profound themes, such as the limits of human understanding, the power of perception, and the existential anxieties that accompany the unknown. Through the Navidson family's journey, the book invites readers to confront their own fears and uncertainties, urging them to reflect on the intricacies of their own lives and the complex labyrinths within their own minds. The Editor's Footnotes the editor's footnotes in House of Leaves provide a significant layer of depth and analysis to the core narrative of the Navidson record. These footnotes, which accompany the main narrative, offer additional context, commentary, and insights into the events depicted in the documentary film. The footnotes are presented as the work of a group of unidentified editors who have taken on the task of compiling and analyzing Zampano's manuscript, which forms the basis of the book. 
Their annotations are a combination of academic citations, personal anecdotes, historical references, and philosophical musings. These footnotes serve several purposes. First, they offer a scholarly lens through which to interpret and understand the events within the Navitson record. The editors draw from a wide range of sources, including literary works, psychological studies, architectural theories, and mythological references. They examine the implications of the labyrinth and its psychological effects on the characters, diving deep into the philosophical and metaphysical implications of the story. Second, the footnotes provide alternate interpretations and theories that challenge the reader's understanding of the narrative. The editors often disagree on the meaning and significance of certain events, offering conflicting viewpoints and generating a sense of ambiguity. This layer of subjectivity forces readers to question their own assumptions and actively engage with the text. Furthermore, the editor's footnotes occasionally digress into their personal lives and experiences, introducing elements of their own psyches and adding an additional layer of complexity to the narrative. These personal anecdotes and reflections provide insights into the editor's motivations, biases, and emotional reactions to the material they are working with. The footnotes also shed light on the impact of the Navitson record within the fictional world of the book. They discuss the cultural and academic response to the film, detailing its influence on filmmakers, scholars, and artists. This layer explores the fascination and obsession that the documentary elicits, as well as the intellectual and emotional consequences of engaging with such a complex and enigmatic work. By incorporating the editor's footnotes, House of Leaves encourages readers to approach the text critically and actively participate in the interpretation of the story. The footnotes provide a wealth of information and analysis, enriching the reading experience and deepening the understanding of the themes, symbols, and implications present in the core narrative. They challenge readers to question their own perspectives, embrace uncertainty, and engage in the multidimensional exploration of the labyrinthine layers of the book. Johnny Truant's Story Johnny Truant's story in House of Leaves adds a significant layer of depth and complexity to the narrative. Johnny, a troubled and unreliable narrator, discovers Zampano's manuscript and becomes obsessed with unraveling its mysteries. As he delves deeper into the manuscript and his own personal demons, his story intertwines with the other layers of the book. Johnny's narrative unfolds through his own fragmented and disjointed perspective. He recounts his experiences working in a tattoo parlor, his troubled relationships, and his descent into madness. His voice is filled with uncertainty, paranoia, and an intense desire to uncover the truth behind the Navitson record. As Johnny obsessively annotates Zampano's manuscript, his own life begins to mirror the unsettling events described in the Navitson record. He experiences strange occurrences, visions, and encounters that blur the line between reality and fiction. His mental state deteriorates, and his sense of self becomes fragmented, echoing the disorienting nature of the labyrinth. Johnny's narrative serves as a reflection of the psychological impact that the Navitson record has on those who engage with it. His personal struggles, addictions, and trauma intertwine with his exploration of the manuscript, creating a parallel narrative that explores the limits of perception, the nature of truth, and the consequences of obsession. Through Johnny's story, House of Leaves delves into themes of identity, guilt, and the subjective nature of reality. It raises questions about the reliability of memory and the ways in which our past traumas shape our present experiences. Johnny's journey becomes a haunting exploration of the human psyche, as he grapples with his own personal labyrinth and attempts to find meaning and redemption within its depths. The layer of Johnny Truant's story adds a sense of personal intimacy and emotional depth to the book. It provides a counterpoint to the academic and detached perspectives of the editor's footnotes and offers a more visceral and subjective experience for the reader. Johnny's narrative not only contributes to the overall narrative complexity but also serves as a reflection of the human condition, the fragility of the mind, 
and the haunting power of unresolved traumas. Ultimately, Johnny's journey within the book parallels the exploration of the Navidson record, blurring the boundaries between reality and fiction, challenging the reader's understanding of truth, and immersing them in the disorienting labyrinth of his own fractured psyche. Zampano's Manuscript Zampano's Manuscript is a crucial layer in House of Leaves that forms the bulk of the book. It serves as the primary source of information for the Navidson record and offers an in-depth analysis of the events depicted in the documentary film. Zampano, a blind and reclusive old man, meticulously documents his interpretation of the Navidson record in his manuscript. His writing style is academic and scholarly, presenting a wealth of information, theories, and analyses. He draws from various fields, including architecture, philosophy, psychology, and literature, to explore the complexities of the Navidson family's experiences within the labyrinth. The manuscript is dense and intricate, filled with footnotes, cross-references, and digressions that further enrich the narrative. Zampano's writing presents a meticulous dissection of the labyrinth, its symbolism, and its impact on the characters involved. He delves into the architecture of the house, the psychological implications of the labyrinth, and the philosophical underpinnings of the events. Through Zampano's manuscript, House of Leaves explores themes such as perception, reality, and the limits of human understanding. He delves into concepts like the uncanny, the sublime, and the nature of space and time. His analysis challenges the reader to question their own assumptions about the world and grapple with the enigmatic nature of existence. Zampano's manuscript also acts as a reflection of his own obsessions and psychological state. It becomes apparent that his exploration of the Navidson record is deeply personal, as he intertwines his own experiences, emotions, and biases into the analysis. His blind perspective adds an additional layer of complexity, as he must rely on the interpretation of others and his own vivid imagination to piece together the events. The manuscript's presence in the book emphasizes the power of storytelling and the construction of meaning. Zampano's writing, although academic in nature, is also an act of storytelling itself, shaping the reader's understanding of the Navidson record. It raises questions about the nature of truth, interpretation, and the ways in which narratives shape our perception of reality. By immersing readers in Zampano's extensive analysis, House of Leaves invites them to engage deeply with the layers of interpretation and meaning within the narrative. It challenges readers to critically analyze the events and theories presented, encouraging them to question their own beliefs and consider the complexities of human experience. In summary, Zampano's manuscript forms a profound layer in House of Leaves, providing a detailed and scholarly exploration of the Navidson record. It presents a complex tapestry of ideas, theories, and interpretations, delving into the psychological, philosophical, and architectural aspects of the labyrinth. Zampano's manuscript offers readers an intellectual and immersive journey into the depths of the narrative, pushing them to grapple with the nature of truth, perception, and the power of storytelling. Appendixes and Paratexts the appendixes and paratexts in House of Leaves add another layer of depth and richness to the narrative. These additional texts, presented as supplementary material, provide further context, historical references, and alternative perspectives on the events and themes explored in the book. The appendixes take various forms, including scholarly articles, excerpts from fictional books, letters, and personal accounts. They expand upon the ideas and concepts introduced in the main layers, offering different angles of analysis and adding additional layers of meaning. These texts often serve as intertextual references, drawing upon a wide range of literary, philosophical, and historical sources. They incorporate works by authors such as T.S. Eliot, William Blake, and Jacques Derrida, among others, showcasing the breadth of knowledge and influences at play in the book. Through the appendixes, House of Leaves explores the interconnectedness of ideas across disciplines and time periods. 
It invites readers to engage with the text beyond the confines of the main narrative and discover the threads that connect various intellectual and artistic traditions. The paratexts, which include chapter titles, footnotes, and typographical manipulations, also contribute to this layer of depth. They play with the physical presentation of the text, creating a visual and tactile experience for the reader. The unconventional formatting, shifting fonts, and intricate design elements become an integral part of the storytelling, reflecting the disorienting nature of the labyrinth and the book itself. These paratextual elements also serve as narrative devices, guiding the reader's attention, highlighting key themes and motifs, and creating a sense of rhythm and pacing. They act as signposts within the intricate narrative structure, directing the reader's interpretation and adding layers of complexity to the reading experience. Furthermore, the appendixes and paratexts deepen the sense of immersion within the fictional world of the book. They create a sense of authenticity, as the reader encounters references to real historical events, academic discourse, and cultural artifacts. This blurring of the lines between fiction and reality enhances the overall atmosphere of the narrative and invites readers to engage with the material on multiple levels. The inclusion of appendixes and paratexts also expands the scope of House of Leaves, allowing for a broader exploration of ideas, historical contexts, and cultural references. They provide a treasure trove of information, inviting readers to delve deeper into the themes presented and encouraging further exploration beyond the confines of the book itself. In summary, the appendixes and paratexts in House of Leaves contribute to the multifaceted nature of the narrative. They provide additional layers of context, intertextuality, and aesthetic manipulation, enriching the reading experience and deepening the exploration of themes and ideas. These texts foster a sense of engagement and intellectual curiosity, encouraging readers to embrace the complexity of the narrative and embark on their own labyrinthine journey of interpretation and discovery.